We just spoke to SDG and E and they tell us that they hope to have this gas leak stopped in the next hour. They push that now by two hours. They say that once it is fixed or they've been able to stop that gas leak, a thousand people will be without natural gas right now. There are 374 people without power and those that had to evacuate say they couldn't even start their car for fear of explosion and they are frustrated. Mission Boulevard and the boardwalk shut down. SDG &E trucks and crews, firefighters and engines saturate the street with yellow and red tape strewn across the road. I was just on a work call and a firefighter knocked on my door and says uh, you need to get out. SDG &E says around 1130 Wednesday morning, Orion construction crews working on city water and sewer repairs had a six inch gas line causing a leak and forcing evacuations from the boardwalk to Mission Boulevard, Zanzibar Court to Verona Court. I guess they didn't see the yellow line. Firefighters on standby assisting with evacuation say 148 units with 67 people are impacted, including Pat and Tori Geyer. This is Bosley right here. He's okay. San Diego police escorted Tori to her home to check on Bosley and Pup Gracie. If I don't want to be in there, I don't want them to be in there either. Firefighters said that they had to use computer mapping to check each valve to control it, which is extremely dangerous as any leaking gas can cause an explosion. I'm just confused because it, they did say it was two to four hours and then I heard four to six and now four to what, 16? No one is allowed back in unless they need medication. A lot of people in this particular area have said to us that they're renting the property, that they don't live here and that they need to get in because they need to leave on a flight tomorrow. We met those visitors who declined to go on camera and they're just waiting. Red Cross has set up a shelter for anyone needing assistance. People are not expected to be allowed back home until Thursday. They have to make arrangements with each resident to go and turn back on their gas service. They won't just let people wholesale come in. We just saw an American Red Cross command post pull out. As of right now, we know that they still have a shelter set up at the Pacific Beach Rec Center that's at 1405 Diamond Street.